बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट अंडर दी सरकमस्टांसिस इट इज ओनली नेचुरल सर दैट वी शुड हैव सम मेजर बाय विच द यूनिवर्सिटी एजुकेशन कैन बी कोऑर्डिनेटेड इनटू समथिंग विच विल कैटर फॉर नेशनल यूनिटी एंड फॉर नेशनल रिकवरी इन द स्पीयर ऑफ एजुकेशन बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली दिस बिल विद ऑल द फाइन थिंग्स दैट द मूवर डिस्क्राइब्ड यस्टरडे डज नॉट अटैम्प्ट टू डू एनी थिंग फॉर इंस्टांस इट हैज गॉन फार बियॉन्ड द टर्म्स ऑफ रेफरेंस इफ आई मे से सो ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी एजुकेशन कमीशन विद रिगार्ड टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ ए यूनिवर्सिटी ग्रांट्स कमीशन फ्रॉम द वेरी टाइटल इट इज ऑब्वियस दैट द यूनिवर्सिटी ग्रांट्स कमीशन विल डील वी एलोकेशन ऑफ फंड्स दैट विल बी परमिटेड बाय पार्लियामेंट फॉर एजुकेशनल परपसेस दैट इज हाउ इट इज डन इन अदर कंट्रीज इन इंग्लैंड फॉर इंस्टांस द ब्रिटिश पार्लियामेंट मेक्स ए ग्रांट एंड द यूनिवर्सिटी कमीशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट्स इट अमंग द नाइनटीन यूनिवर्सिटीज हेयर दिस इज नॉट ए कंपल्जरी मेजर दिस इज नॉट एन ऑब्लीगेटरी मेजर नाउ दिस इज नॉट दी वे टू रीऑर्गेनाइज एजुकेशन इवन एट द यूनिवर्सिटी लेवल सर आई क्वाइट एग्री दैट यूनिवर्सिटीज शुड मेंटेन देयर ऑटोनॉमी एंड दे शुड बी इंडिपेंडेंट बॉडीज एंड देयर पर्पस इन आवर सोसाइटी इज दैट ऑफ से the supreme court or the independent judiciary in the sphere of individual rights that is they stand for academic freedom all these things are essential for a university organization and all these things can be done by better coordination and better control by the central government but the question is does this bill as it has been presented to us now make any attempt for or does it even make provision for attempting these things my humble opinion sir is that it is not to begin with sir it has gone far beyond as i said the duties imposed on the university grants commission by the university education commission itself secondly it has failed to understand the reasons why there is a fall in the standards of education and the reasons why there should be a coordination of efforts and for determining the standards of teaching and examinations in our universities sir the standards of teaching and examinations can be maintained only by the university itself it is not legislation that determines the standards of a university it is not the inspecting bodies that 
determine the standards of a university the standards of a university are determined by the teaching staff by the university authorities by the academic bodies and by the morale of students which also depends upon these factors now there is nothing in this bill nor is this the kind of a bill which is needed to ensure these things already in this country we have other educational bodies we have from time to time our vice chancellors conferences we have the inter university board and we have the central advisory board of education all these bodies deal with the problems arising in universities the problems arising out of this amorphous growth without any rule or without any order or without any plan or without any design or without any policy now these things have not been dealt with by these advisory bodies therefore if the government thinks that a statutory body should be created then i should say that this is not the kind of bill that should be produced secondly sir what is the means of control that the organization will have when it is constituted the means of control is finance and finance that it has is very very inadequate indeed as it is evident from the financial memoranda now we may agree that the university grants commission is likely to get huge grants as it should in my opinion because one recalls the statement made by the minister in the british parliament after distributing 12 and a half million pounds to 19 universities he said if there is a demand for university education i will not hesitate to grant more funds that should be the spirit in which our parliament should work with regard to the encouragement of university education now there is no obligation on the government to supply funds nor is there any on the universities to apply for funds mr chairman sir the speakers who have preceded me have given a very grim picture of the economic situation employment situation and a very depressive situation of the country i am glad to know that shri vasant sathe was speaking in 1979 in favor of this sort of a bill and i am very glad that he has again contributed to the debate in a very constructive manner well we have figures galore statistics galore but figures and statistics would not solve our own problem every year the figure of 8 million unemployed is added we are sending rockets into the sky but we are not spending 
enough money for the poor and the needy people of this country we have made serious mistakes in various fields as has been pointed out by shri vasant sathe